Wall Street, Willie. You already told me what a checking account is and a savings account is. But what's the difference? Well, what kind of difference do you want to learn about? How do you go about taking money out of the checking or savings account using an ATM or moving money from the account to another account? Well, with a checking account, you can move the money freely, which means you won't have any restrictions. But with a savings account, you might have a restriction on the number of times it can be done within a month. But both checking and savings account have debit cards for ATM withdrawals, which is taking money out of an ATM. Well, is there a difference between the interest earned from each of them? Yes, there is. A checking account usually pays no interest, but a savings account pays some interest. Currently. Is 0.1% to 1.5% per year, depending on the bank. Well, that is real low interest. Anyway, what should the checking and saving accounts be used for? Like, are their uses different? Yes, their uses are different. With checking accounts, they should be used for day-to-day -day expenses, and with savings account, they should be used to save for short to medium-term goals. And you can also use it for an emergency fund. Is there a restriction on how many checking or savings accounts that I can have? No, you can have any number of checking accounts and savings accounts. Yay! But is there a difference in the fees that the bank charges us in the checking and savings account? Yes, there is a difference. In checking accounts, you usually have to pay a ten to fifteen dollar monthly fee, but with savings account, it's only a five to ten dollar monthly fee. That fee is also waived if a minimum balance is maintained, which means a certain amount of money is kept in the saving or checking account at any given time. But how do I even choose a checking or savings account lack or some better than others? Yes, it is better if you choose an FDIC insured bank so that your money is safely kept. And for savings account, you should usually look for a high interest rate. You should also look for low or no monthly fees with both a checking account and a savings account. Well, thank you very much for telling me the difference between checking and savings account, Wall Street Willie. You're welcome, Super Cooper. Remember, finance is your friend. Hey, on people! If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please like, share, and subscribe. For more easy pizza finance.